Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today, we are doing the best copycat Popeye's chicken sandwich and fries, y'all. And you know what? I had to do it. I had to get on the bandwagon and see if I could do it. And we'll see how it turns out. But y'all, look at these sandwiches and those crispy Cajun fries. Mm, let's go. So I have some chicken breasts that I have brined overnight for 24 hours in buttermilk, hot sauce, kosher salt, and MSG. And all I did was split them in half and pound them with a mallet and then put, this, put them in this marinade and covered it. So I'm gonna make my wet ingredients, which is two eggs, one cup of buttermilk and a third, about a half cup of milk. Just gonna mix that up. And then I'm also gonna add in some hot sauce as well. This is optional, but you know, this is Louisiana fried chicken. So we gotta put hot sauce anyway, anyhow, okay? And then for the flour, all-purpose flour, salt and pepper, and then for my seasoning blend, I am going to also have an array of spices. So we have some paprika, some MSG, some white pepper, some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and then some dry thyme okay and so just go ahead and dump that in there and that's your seasoned flour blend and then salt and pepper so you want to make sure that your chicken is rinsed and kind of dried out a little bit and then we're gonna do the wet dry method okay so just dump it into your egg mixture and then we're gonna put it into the flour and remember whenever you're frying chicken make sure you coat it with your seasoned flour and squeeze that flour so that it gets into every nook and cranny in the crevices okay we want to have a good coating so that we'll have that crunchy crust on our chicken okay and you just gonna keep going and let me tell y'all Frying chicken breast is like, mm, but that brine is a must, and it will make your t chicken super tender. I I'm spoiling the surprise, but I'm gonna show y'all. Just do do it. Trust me on this, okay? Don't worry about it. Use the brine, okay? So after you've breaded it, this is what it looks like. It's gonna sit for like five minutes and crisp up, okay? So your temperature has to be exact, y'all. So make sure that you have it on like 360, okay? And then just go ahead and fry it. And always a rule with frying, do not overfill your skillet, okay? So I'm just gonna put a couple of pieces in here and then you're gonna cook until it's golden brown. And so remember, white meat cooks a little fast because we pounded it out, okay? And so here you go, I'm pulling it out and look at that, y'all. That golden fried chicken meat, it is so good. Let's start on the fries. So I have cornstarch, all-purpose flour, and then the fries, some russet potatoes, I just cut into little fries and then I soak them in some water to remove that starch. I also have some fresh ground pepper and then some salt and then some sugar I'm gonna add in. And then for my spice blend, I have some celery salt, onion powder, and then I also have some garlic powder and then some paprika and then some cayenne, some dry dill, cumin, and some white pepper. And so I'm just going to dump this in here. Super easy, y'all. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, y'all. I mean it. Hit subscribe because I'm trying to get to 100 right now. And for those who already have, thank y'all so, so much for your support. So I am adding in some ice water. And I know that looks a little crazy, but just some ice water because you don't want to have any lumps or clumps. And just measure it. So I added some more. And then you just want a certain consistency so that it coats your fries, okay? We're not trying to have pancake batter thickness, but just enough to coat the fries, okay? So just go ahead, dump all those in there, and then we're going to move over to the fryer. So on these fries, you have to have patience, okay? Because of that batter, you have to put them in one at a time or else they're gonna clump and stick together. So there you go. This is what it'll look like once you have them fried up and that golden brown and all that seasonings, you see that? So spicy mayo, super easy. Mayo, hot sauce, smoked paprika. 
and also I have some pickles I'll tell you about that in just a second but just a couple of tablespoons of mayo and then a couple of splashes of hot sauce and then I use smoked paprika you can use regular paprika and I did actually add in some off-camera some additional paprika just for some color and then you have your toasted brioche buns okay and so just add your mayo and spread that on so good and these oh snap pickles oh y'all this is the closest I think that you get to Popeye's pickles and they're so delicious and then just layer your chicken and there you go honey just put that top on there and you have your at home DIY Popeye's chicken sandwich y'all look at that and these turned out so flavorful. Did they taste exactly like Popeyes? No, but does it taste like Nika's Kitchen Chicken Sandwich? Oh yes, honey, so good. But let me show y'all what that brining method does. I am cutting a chicken breast with a butter knife, okay? This is to show you how tender this meat turned out, okay? So again, brining is a must have. You have to do it a minimum of four hours. I did a full 24 and look at this y'all. That tender white meat and look at that juice coming out of it, okay? 24 hours brining bomb, okay? So, hope you guys try this recipe. It is a labor of love. Do not get me wrong, but it was worth it. So, hit the notification bell. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And new recipes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time in my new video. Bye, y'all.